Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to worship this evening. I'm glad that all of you are here. We continue to worship Wednesday evenings through Lent at 6 o'clock. Um, and a reminder that this service is being live streamed to our church Facebook page and will be posted to the website and the YouTube channel as well. There's some pews missing, and that's okay. Um, they are out being padded. So they will be back this week, uh, or next week, next week Monday, and then some more will disappear to be padded. They will all come back, and they will all be turned comfier than they were before they left. Um, so we are just in the midst of that project, and so that's what's happening with that. And uh, an announcement, a, a couple announcements about our service is we thank Kurt for leading us in music. So thank you, Kurt, and thank you, choir, for being our musical leaders tonight as well. A reminder that the choir will be covering the leader parts, except for the psalm on page four. Um, it's number two, it says psalmody reading and canticles, Psalm 141. Obviously the part that says all, we will all do together. But then when it splits into two different parts, the group one leader will be the congregation, and then the all or group two will be the choir. So congregation sings the top line, choir sings the bottom line. And as I say, if you mess up, just keep singing. It's beautiful either way. So that is all that I have for you. I invite you to take a deep breath to center yourself and ground yourself in this space and in this time as we begin our worship together.
May our prayers come before you, O God, as incense, and may your presence surround and fill us so that in union with all creation, we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. Amen. Amen. This is a reading from Psalm 32. Happy are those whose transgressions are forgiven and whose sin is put away. Happy are they who mourn the Lord imputes no guilt and in whose spirit there is no guile. When I held my tongue, my bones withered away because of my groaning all day long. For your hand was heavy upon me day and night. Any moisture was dried up as in the heat of the summer. Then I acknowledged my sin to you and did not conceal my guilt. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord. Then you forgave me the guilt of my sin. Therefore, all the faithful will make their prayers to you in time of trouble. When the great waters overflow, they shall not reach them. You are my hiding place. You preserve me from trouble. You surround me with shouts of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you in the way that you should go. I will guide you with my eye. Do not be like horse or mule, which have no understanding, who must be fitted with a bright and brittle, or else they will not stay near you. Great are the tribulations of the wicked, but mercy embraces those who trust in the Lord. Be glad, you righteous, and rejoice in the Lord. Shout for joy, all who are true of heart. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it.
Great and merciful God, source and ground of all goodness and life, give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.